Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for our main event of the evening. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. Mayweather's almost giving you the feeling here that he's completely indifferent to all the pressure. I mean, this is a guy that's been there, done that, and he couldn't care less about the pressures that are in front of him. Alvarez has got his eye on the prize. He has complete focus on his ring walk here. at all times. Let's touch him up. This is a 12-rounder. Here's round number one. Now hugging on the inside. Teddy, I don't think there's any doubt about it in the matchup that we're seeing here tonight. It's clear who has the superior hand speed. What does the other guy need to do? He needs to let the faster guy shadow box. Step out of range where he can't use his speed. A headshot blocked. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. And keep your feet moving. A little something of his own. Blocks the shot, brings back the uppercut. Nice work by Money. He was looking for an opportunity. He got it with that counter punch. Yeah, he stepped to the side. You know, a lot of times you talk about using your jab to set up a shot. He used his legs. Stepped to the side, got that opportunity. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Back to the body! Up top with the right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Alvarez is just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Blocks that punch. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Alvarez. Don't let him get to you. Alvarez's opponent knows exactly what the game plan can be now. That counter punch landed with some success. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Money's got to feel that right there. He was just tagged by a big uppercut. End of round one. Chico's ability to get to his man paid off well there. He damaged him in that round. Breathe in. Take a deep breath. Great job, that round. You're doing well. Here we go. Round two is 
underway. If that keeps up, this is going to be a good night. The right hand scored by Money. Mayweather stunned by that shot. Money's defense has failed him now. Oh, man, shot after shot coming in. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Money's out there just waiting on a counterpunch, isn't he? Yeah, well, first of all, why is it? Because he knows if he walks in, he's going to get caught. So what he wants to do is he knows there's basically a guard at that door. He's trying to get that guard to get out of there so he could go through that door. And he ties up on the inside. Didn't get it done going to the body there. <laughs> Money hit by a right hand. Wake up. Good, smart, tactical move here, backing up his opponent against the ropes. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Keep moving! Keep moving! There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. And he engages in the clinch. A little head hunting with the right. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Alvarez. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. And that round comes to an end. And you know, I've turned to you many times throughout our careers broadcasting together and said, why is this guy not throwing punches? I just don't get it, Teddy. Well, there's two reasons usually. One is he's not in shape. In this case, I think he's in shape. He doesn't want to throw. I know that boggles your mind too. What do you mean he doesn't want to throw? You think it to yourself. He's a fighter, he's in the ring. He knows that he has to throw punches. But if he throws punches, he also has to put himself in a position where the guy's gonna throw back. That means he has to take more chances. And some guys would rather not take those chances. Off target with that hook. <laughs> Alvarez is getting back to basics. A good solid jab. Alvarez has got a little something coming back at him. A counter punch score. Crashes home with the uppercut. Digs in with a good, solid uppercut after taking one. He saw the uppercut, he took advantage, throwing it out there. Nice work, the left hand to the head.
way through this round. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Money's just not showing me enough offense right now. Is he, I mean, I understand he did get hurt earlier. Yeah, he did. But he still has to put something forth. Yeah, he does. It's kind of like that kid who gets his hand caught in a cookie jar. You know, <laughs> you're not going to give up eating cookies. You still have a sweet tooth. You want to still go back and get that snack. You better find another way. He needs to find another way. Alvarez is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Chico's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Alvarez is left now getting into the mix. We count down the final moments of this round. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? You got that? You have to take a piece. You're standing straight up. Move. Relax, relax. You're doing great. You keep the pressure on. You keep going. Interesting early rounds of this fight. She goes up two rounds to one on your scorecard, Teddy. What do you like about him so far? Well, I like the fact that he's busier, but I also like the fact that when he's not working, he gets out of range and he doesn't allow his opponent to win. That's why I got it. Mayweather's back by a left hand. Teddy, explain this to me. Hey, this fighter was just staggered and stunned. Now all of a sudden he's defending beautifully. Yeah, because he's on instincts now. Before he was thinking, he was overthinking. That happens out in life in a lot of places. And now he's not. Now just naturally, instinctively, survival mode is there. He's doing all the things, Joe, that he was taught in the gym. Things he couldn't do before because he was worried about doing them. Oh, a big shot comes home for him by Ricardo Alvarez. Down. to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's gotta survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. seconds to go in round number four. Not focusing. You got this one. Nice block by Money. Left and right. Left. You need to keep that head moving. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. <laughs> he missed with that headshot. Keep moving! Keep moving! He's tired! Keep moving! Keep moving! And he just holds on there. Yeah. 
Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Back to the body! End of the round there. A round in which we did see the knockdown, and Teddy, when a fighter comes back to the corner, having just been floored, Typically, how are they acting? What are you seeing on them? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind. You drop. You're afraid to go in that room again. So put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped. Okay. He will not be afraid to go back in that room. Move around the ring. You got that? OK, let's go. You got more of Alvarez is coming off of a round where he was just dropped. Now he's got to go back out there. What's the mentality, Teddy? Well, right now what he's got to do is buy some time. And you got to be one of those time buyers. You know, you go out there and you say, you know, I want to be able to get, you know, a little bit of space here. You want to grab. You want to move. Anything. You can't worry about winning this round. That's gone all right. Survive the round. Get your head clear. You're going to win the other round. Not able to land the headshot. Alvarez is whipping there. A big, wide, sweeping shot. I mean, perfect to counter against. Yes, it is. And you know it's only a matter of time. You know, that goes into the old computer, the old brain, where the guy remembers that, and the next time he's going to capitalize on it. <laughs> he gets hit, but he gives it right back. Now he's targeting upstairs. How about that left right there? There it is! And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? One, two, three, four, five. Alvarez is rising back up. That takes some guts. see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. again knockout victory for him ladies and gentlemen by knockouts your Saw he was up on your scorecard throughout the evening. Mayweather's now a winner by knockout. Listen, you want to win, you want to get to a title, you want to be successful, but you want to make money. And this is one way to ensure you're going to make money, scoring knockouts. I'm Joe Tessitore for Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us and enjoy the rest of your night.